With the new implementation of SPAD.next and the new Bravo Throttle Quadrant setup, you might already have done some things and done a similar custom configuration like I have done previously. Well, now you're going to be asked on that first launch of the new update whether or not you want to keep your own configuration or use the SPAD Next configuration. I'm kind of one of those people who likes to use the new features and functionality, so I'm going to go ahead and say use SPAD.next configuration because I want to see all the new features and functionality like LEDs and controls and layout and well I might just need to reconfigure but let's jump in and see what pressing the button takes us down which rabbit hole and of course because I'm on the alpha channel I understand the risk this could break things but I'm still gonna click OK well it's still running my previous one so trim percentage uh, yes, I need to get rid of trim percentage. A profile has been upgraded. Please check your settings and save it. Current activity has been changed. Do you want to save changes? We're going to go with yes. Uh, that way it saved uh, the 337 one. And now it's going to load in my Kodiak one. The first alpha for the upcoming 9.12 version. Uh, it's still not released. This is alpha. Well, I'm going to head on over to controls and I'm going to come to the Bravo throttle quadrant. And we now have our buttons. And we've also got our Bravo switches. So I'm going to go over here to device to settings. Let's go to rename device. So that's the Bravo throttle quadrant. And that's on device number one. So I just want to come over to the Bravo switches. And we're now going to move this guy to number two, uh, just so that I can keep them together. Now, I think I need to save. And let's just make that a three for now. So I think I need to close it down and relaunch it for that to take effect. There we go, so we've now got them together. So on the throttle quadrant, buttons 9, 10, 11, 12, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Uh, these are all of the buttons and switches that revolve around throttle quadrant Portion. Nine is one of the thrust reversers, I believe. And then we've got uh, things like toga uh, and our other button presses, as well as we've got our different detents. Uh, those are all still on the panel. And don't forget, if you highlight the little Lego block uh, by pressing them, it will show you uh, which one does work what so button 29 of course that is our uh, toga button and when we look at device settings and we look at settings global this cannot be configured because we are now at a standardized functionality so that's really good then of course uh, you've got your uh, naming conventions for the axes now it's been labeled speed brake engine one, two, three, four flap, uh, which is nice, but obviously depending on your plane, those might be different. There it is, of course, change the label. There we go, throttle one. So there you go, that's going to become throttle one for me. Uh, because this is the Kodiak, this will be blank. Uh, this is gonna become prop lever, and this is gonna become mixture, and this will be blank. I use the flap switch lever so that's a great start in seeing what is now available with the bravo tq of course we are going to do some updates and add more to it on the bravo uh, switch front it now has the rotary buttons so those buttons are there and so you have the mode labeled 
for where it's positioned. And of course you can see it moving, which is fantastic. Now, did it keep what we had set up? Well, look at that. The clockwise turn, uh, the counterclockwise turn, uh, that is all still there. That is pretty cool. My heading knob is moving. I like to see that. My uh, course is dialing. And of course, our IAS speed is also increasing. So that's pretty cool. Everything is functioning as we expected. Uh, we've got our heading button. We got our nav button. So those are all still there. Uh, but now we should have the ability to change the button light. So for heading mode, well, let's go ahead and add a condition. And let's look for autopilot heading lock. So is heading mode active? So when it's a zero, it's going to turn it off. Sounds good. And then we're going to add another event, change button light, add condition. We're going to use that same heading lock, but we're going to put in a one. And in this case, it goes to an on state. And we do not want it to flash. We want it to be permanent on in this case. So we're going to go ahead, click OK. And so now in heading mode, it lights up and as you can see we'll take off the Lego block for a moment you've got those LEDs lighting up inside and oh boy is it good to see this happening directly on our Bravo so here you can see that light is now lighting up well that one was just going to be a quick, short teaser about what looks great about what's coming with the new Bravo setup here in SPAD.next. I'm going to go ahead and start setting up all of the LEDs and indicators and making it all work for my Kodiak, uh, which will also be a great build to take for an updated NXI. So we'll make this like an NXI version 10.1 slash Kodiak, uh, everything that we need on our Bravo. If you haven't already, guys, please go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and come along next time when we jump into the Kodiak with the new Bravo setup. It's bad 9.12.0. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.